Cloud it. Cloudette was a cloud, a very small cloud. Usually, she didn't mind being smaller than the average cloud. You got Cloudette and the average cloud. In fact, being small had lots of advantages. She could sneak through tight spaces. Excuse me. Hide in small places. I can't find her anywhere. Me either. Tee hee. And she even had a special little space that always made her feel cozy at night. But once in a while, Claudette could see all the big clouds in the distance doing all sorts of big, important cloud things. This made her want to do big, important things, too. She wanted to make a garden grow. She wanted to make a brook babble. She wanted to make a waterfall fall. And she thought nothing would be more fun than giving some kids a day off from school. One night, Claudette lay awake wondering what she could do that was big and important. She thought maybe she could work for the fire department. Sorry, we just got a brand new bumper truck. Or maybe they needed some help down at the garden center. Sorry, these plants take tons of water. But nobody seemed to need her. Sorry, it's all done by machines. Claudette was feeling blue. The next day, there was a big storm in her neighborhood. The sky got dark, the rain poured down, and the wind blew harder than she'd ever seen wind blow before. When the storm finally stopped, Claudette realized she'd been blown far from her neighborhood. She didn't know anyone here. Hello. Hi. Howdy. How you doing? And they didn't seem eager to get to know her. Pretty soon, she was making new friends and seeing things she had never seen before. Welcome to our neck of the woods, small fry. What a cute little cumulus. Have you seen our new pal? Barely. Then she heard something she'd never heard before. Ribbit. She looked down at what was supposed to be a pond, but was really just a puddle of mud. What happened to your pond, Froggy? It dried up, and now it's more like a puddle than a pond. Well, this gave Claudette an idea. More like a brainstorm, actually. She held her breath until she started to puff up all over. Then she turned a nice blue-gray color. She kept growing until it looked like she was ready to burst. She shook her behind until it made a little rumbling sound. Not quite what you'd call thunder, but enough to know, let people know that they should grab an umbrella. Then she did what she'd wanted to do for ages. She let it pour. Cloudette rained on that little puddle until it grew into a big puddle. And she kept on raining until that big puddle grew into a perfect pond. As soon as she stopped, frogs of every stripe and spot came jumping into the pond.
they all let out a big thank you in unison. Ribbit! Claudette was exhausted, but happy. Even the higher-ups were impressed. Nice work, Cloudy! Yeah, way to water! Prodigious precipitation, Pipsqueak. We knew you had it in you. Which got her thinking. I bet there are other big and important things a little cloud could do. And off she went. The end. Please subscribe.